this is Bernie from Stampin' Eat and welcome back to a brand new year of crafting with me in my craft room. This week I am going to be focusing or celebrating the beautiful Flight and Airy Designer Series paper that is a free level one gift with purchase until the 29th of February 2024. So let me take you to my desk and let's create a stunning card together. So the Flight and Airy Designer Series paper is 12 by 12 and it's in on page 6 of your celebration catalogue, um, which you hopefully have from your demonstrator. If you are in New Zealand and you don't yet have a demonstrator that you um, order with or work alongside with, I would love to be considered to be part of your creative team so please reach out to me my details are below in the drop down box um, and I would love to support you in your creative journey but this designer series paper is absolutely gorgeous and it is a free level one gift so what does that mean that means it is a gift with purchase to the value of $110 New Zealand excluding shipping and there are so many gorgeous projects that we can make with that. So in today's project, I want to show you this lovely little fun fold. And it opens like this. And then we have this little card that you can write your details on like that. And it just tucks in like so. So what do you need to create this card? Well, you need a base and I usually just use a standard half sheet of A4 cardstock in New Zealand or otherwise if you are in um, the northern hemisphere you can just cut your eight and a half by eleven in half score it on the um, short side cut it in half the panel that ordinarily would have made your card front just score that in half so that you've got this little cute fun fold the designer series paper that I am featuring for this card with you, I just cut a piece in um, six inches and I cut it by five and three quarters of an inch and then I trimmed it down to, it's about one and fifteenth of a sixteenth. So when you cut these papers, make sure that you're keeping the theme so that it is all going to tell a story and this piece on the end can be a contrast piece and I cut that at two inches by the same length as that all right so it's a very quick and easy card to put together there's not a lot of work that you need to put into it so let's just pop this together so I'm creating my first panel and then I'm going to pop my second panel here. And as you can see, the story of these little birdies carries on. I've got the flowers coming through there, the birdie over there. Now, if you watched the live January Jamboree a few weeks ago, you would have seen we actually, in our Crafting Across Borders teams, okay, this one's just a little bit wider, that's okay, I'm just going to take it over there. So now when we bring it all together, we've got this gorgeous story that is happening over here. And now I'm going to bring in this little gift card. So, go back to my story of Crafting Across Borders. We had um, a celebration video bundle and PDFs for featuring celebration products. And I featured um, this flight and area in there. Now I'm just going to fussy cut these little guys with you. Just so that you can see. It's not that difficult to fussy cut these flowers. So that celebration bundle is available for purchase. And I will drop the link for that for you as well, should you wish to purchase that. It shows some stunning projects, six project video tutorials and the PDF. Cool, so that's the one. And then I will just fussy cut this. 
that you've got your two little booties, I'm going to put this little guy on the top and that little guy on the bottom. But before I do that, I want to stamp a happy birthday sentiment. And I'm using my go-to greetings. Now, I just want to see which one fits. I think this one is going to fit better. And I just want to see what ink is going to work better. Do I use my boho blue or flirty flamingo? I think I might just go with boho blue again. Ink up my stamp. Right, let's just stamp this in the middle. Great, that's beautiful. Very happy with that. Okay, now we just need to put the booties on. So booties, I'm just going to put it on the bottom. This piece of cardstock, sorry, I forgot to tell you, is three by six inches, scored at three. And they're going to go over here. And now I just need to make a bow and my bow I'm just going to use my usual technique of two strands and one snip it and then cut off the little bit of extra for the tail bring these guys together like so and bring that over here tie it all together there we go. And I just like for safety purposes just to like to tie that a second time because the last thing you want is that to be coming undone in the mail or in the envelope. And then you just need a glue dot for this. Somewhere along there is a glue dot. Pop it on the little guy's tail. Okay, fantastic. Now, in order to create that fold over here, all I'm going to now do is I am going to glue, but only on this section over here. So I'm going to position this where I want it. And I'm just going to glue a little bit over here. Butt it up flush with the edge. Hold it down so that it can adhere nicely. Squish that in. And there we have, it's already tucked in, our gorgeous little happy birthday card featuring this pretty, pretty babe. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? All right. You could, of course, add embellishments there if you want to, um, or you can leave it as is. But I think this is just an adorable card featuring the brand new Flight and Airy Designer Series paper free gift with celebration so the drop down details are below for you um, please like my channel please follow if you like what I'm doing and please consider sharing this with a friend if you like what I create um, by liking my channel you do help with the algorithms for YouTube and that just helps my business so thank you so much for crafting with me and remember until we meet again to stamp, to eat, to sleep, and repeat. Bye!